Well, Ricardo Montalban, nice to see you again. It's always my pleasure to see you. You know, Bobby. this is quite different from your suite at the Statler Hilton where we <laughs> last did an interview, isn't it? This looks pretty bad with the booze and the cards and the poker chips and it's all. It's very colorful. I like it, as a matter of fact, Bobby. <laughs> this is play acting, you all. Really, it is. Let's talk about your role in Cheyenne Autumn because I think it's a very exciting one for you, Ricardo. It is, Bobby. It's uh, actually a historical character named um, uh, Little Wolf. And this man was the war chief of the Cheyenne. And... Uh, it was difficult for me to, to do it, actually, because I am a man who I talk with my hands and I, uh, I talk too much at times. And this man, uh, of course, didn't talk too much because uh, Indians as a rule, and the way this was written, every, uh, the turmoil is inside, but very little shows on the outside. A rather stoic eternal, person. Eternal, yes. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but he had to show an enormous amount, as I said, of this, this rebellion inside of him. And it presented a great challenge, which Mr. John Ford uh, presented me with, and, uh, but oh, what an experience it is working for Mr. Ford. This mm -hmm. is truly a great, great, great director. Mm -hmm. Well, all yes. those Academy Awards, he, uh, he didn't get them for, uh, right. for nothing. <laughs> uh, something else I wanted to ask you about, Ricardo. Do you think that this picture now, uh, where the Indian is more or less portrayed as the hero, do you think that uh, this is going to stir up the American people and their thinking towards the Indian? Well, if it doesn't stir them to think of the Indian, at least I think it will give them an insight and realize that uh, the Indian has been much too long portrayed as the man with uh, yelling wildly on a horse and, and scalping people. I think that you will find that in this picture you will see that these people really were fighting for their home, their livelihood, their wives, their children, the same as uh, we would. And the, the tremendous struggle just to exist for them was enormous. And uh, I think that this picture will give us an understanding which is very needed today in the world, Bobby. I really feel that uh, in the world today we need uh, a little more of the brotherhood of man. And I think that the brotherhood of man can only be accomplished with the fatherhood of God. Because to me, brotherhood is an empty word without a father. What were some of the hardships that the Cheyennes had to endure when they made that 1,200-mile trek back to their oh, native land? The elements mm -hmm. uh, had to go through... Uh, they had to go through, through snow, the uh, food, hunger, uh, just exhaustion from the long march. Enormous. It was a heroic march, Bobby. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that heroic march portrayed in Warner Brothers' Cheyenne Autumn. Thank you, Ricardo.